god, I have waited and waited, but nothing happens. Where's my friend exactly? I'm so confused waiting for he waiting for her. Where is she? Where is she? Right? Where is she? Fernand Pro House Live! I'm fine! Thank you! What about you? Yeah, I'm fine and you? Of course, I'm okay. Long time no see. Where have you been exactly? Yeah, I'm just in my boarding house. You spend your day yeah. in your boarding house? Yeah. Huh. And then you do, you doing nothing, right? Yeah. I'm just watching. I'm just watching anime and then yeah. One I'm Piece. Just, I know. Yeah, of oh, course. you like it. <laughs> oh, talking about greetings. Yeah. Today, I'm so confused because greetings, the greetings, greetings way are divided in into many 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 things right yeah. so mm, i guess that you just know about the hello or hi greetings right yeah, you don't of know course. about the uh, house life uh oh yo uh, oh yeah, yeah of course that, because exactly that is right. the simple one right that yeah. i i always remember it at all so you have to remember that there are so many greetings uh that we have uh with that we should already know are you sure yeah it's like we tell about the informal and formal ah, ways formal informal and, and then slang wow slang yeah. is the confused uh, one and then if we are talking about the uh apologizing thanking and then thanking there are also uh many hmm, uh, informal and formal ways for example ah, what ah. is that uh, like tech leafing is there is bye 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 or, bye uh -huh, hi bye bye, bye. yeah like that one, and right? then apologizing apologizing uh, and then uh, thankful there apologizing are, uh -huh, there what are, is it apologizing is say sorry to someone oh, yeah. exactly Indeed. so uh, you have to uh, develop your mind oh, of course of course, of course. Mm -hmm. and then I have to to read many things about greetings right. Yeah. To improve our, of course, our, 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 so our you, conversation you, in English. So, do you want to improve your, uh, yeah, about the greetings, right? Yeah, of course. I, I want to know. Uh, actually, I, I just, I want to, I want to see how to use greetings in formal and formal ways. So, you have to watch the movie. Movie about the greetings, the greetings, oh. right? It's amazing. In this case, our friend will give the simulation of the uh, how to say sorry, greetings, thankful, and then take living. So, so enjoy this video. Thank you.
night that good, good, uh, good night is only used to say goodbye. So if you meet someone late in the day, remember to greet them with good night rather than good night. Uh, I mean good evening rather than good night. Uh, good morning. Uh, I would like to write in the whiteboard. Good morning.
Okay? Here is about the greetings in informal way. Informal way. Informal. You can see here for the first to the last, you can use in daily activity, especially with your friends in your campus or in your at your school. You can use these things. Uh, okay, maybe that's all. Uh, about the slang for the slang ways will be delivered by Fernanda. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to explain about slang greetings. Slang greetings are extremely informal uh, and should only be used with people that we know very well and feel comfortably with. Keep in mind that uh, a lot of slang is regional and using Australians. Australian slang, for example, Australian, Australian slang will different will be different with American slang. So uh, we have to learn about the slang, local slang, wherever you, wherever we are. So I'm going to explain the first is yo. Yo, this extremely informal greeting is common in Australia. It's come from uh, hip hop slang, uh, and this day it's often used jokingly. This greeting should only be used with very close friends and never uh, in a business uh, setting. The second is, are you okay? Uh, you can just say hi right back. Yeah, maybe 
session next week. So when we will start to study it? Mm. Oh, but Saturday. Oh God, I can handle this Saturday. How about Sunday? to say uh, goodbye to someone. Here are some situations uh, in which goodbye is appropriate. And you have broken up with your partner. You are sad about it. You think that you might never see uh, this person again. And, uh, and then you are angry with a family member. You say this as you slam the door or hang up the phone. And then, and secondly is formal. This phrase is quite formal and very emotional sounding. It also seems very final. It's, it's the type of thing uh, that two lovers in a movie might say if they are never going to see each other again. You probably want to use it often in daily, daily life. And then have a good day. Say uh, have a good day or have a nice day or have a uh, good evening or have a good night to someone that you are not very close with. Like a co um, co-worker that you don't know with or employee, a customer or friends of a friend. And then take care. This phrase is still a little bit formal, but not quite as formal as have a good day. Use this when you are not going to see someone again for at last a week. Most of the time we can use of the casual phrases when saying goodbye to someone in English. These are the example of saying goodbye to someone in English. First, bye. Bye is the most common way to say goodbye in English. You can say bye to anywhere you know. From friends to each other, from someone to other. It's common to say bye at the end of conversation. For example, me. See you later. Okay, have a good day. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. The second is bye bye. 
Little children say bye bye and others say it when speaking to children. When others say bye bye to each other, it will say uh, childish, you know, childish. When uh, adults say it to each other. And the third is letter. Letter is a cool, casual to say goodbye. Men often use letter when speaking to each other. It often follow letter with something like man, bro, or dear. For the example, letter man. And the next is see you letter. See you letter is not casual as letter. You can use it almost anyone. You say see you letter when you are saying goodbye to someone. And next is have a good one. Have a good one means have a good day or have a good week. You sound relaxed and friendly when you say it to someone. Next is so long. Actually, so long is not very common for saying goodbye, but you may find it sometimes in new headlines or other places. And the last is all right then. Uh, this is very common phrases, but some people in the southern part of U.S. use it. It is very casual and relaxed. And thank you for your attention. In this opportunity, I want to tell you about a slang goodbye. This is a variation on see you later that you might use if you want to seem super casual. You might imagine a surfer using this for this phrase. Peace as a way to say goodbye comes from hip hop music and culture. It sounds very casual. Peace out is it is the same but it was popular in early 1990s. Today it sounds very dead. And the next is I'm out is also connected with hip hop. It is something that you can say when you are glad to be living. For example, you may say I'm out to your to your works as you are leaving your part-time job for the day. Okay, it's all. Thank you. Okay, well, guys, uh, I'm here. I would like to tell you to to explain about uh, about the thanking of formal ways. I, as you, as many of you know, uh, thank you is very is very important words in to use in English words, right? But thanks and thank you are most commonly used used in daily conversation. Thank you is slightly more more formal. And you know, guys, the formal the formal ways in thanking there are they are divided by four. First, thanks a lot, thanks very much, and thank you very much, and the last is thank you so much. Talking about talking about uh, thanking in formal ways, there. If you want to emphasize your gra gratitude or 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 be more polite you can say this expression I, I want to give the ex examples exactly that you have to under uh, that that is under can be that can be understood by by you guys for the first thank you so much for helping me out today All right and the second uh, you you are looking well thanks then thank you thank you very much for dinner it was great and next thanks a lot for looking after the children and the next thanks very much for making dinner tonight actually you can use use uh, this thanking thanking of formal ways uh, with your lecturer or with your teachers that because this is very it is the inform this is the the formal ways okay do you get it thank you Okay, if we are talking about thank you, there are so many ways to say thank you to someone. The first is thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch is an informal way to say thank you to someone. Uh, but you have to remember that if we, if you want to say uh, thanks a bunch to someone, uh, you must be careful because some people use uh, thanks a bunch to uh, something that inappropriate uh, and the second is uh, cheers cheers uh, is an informal way to say 
uh, thank you, which very familiar in English. Uh, but you have to remember that cheers cannot uh, can be used in writing uh, setting. And the last is I owe you one. Uh, you've saved my life. And the last is I owe you big times. Uh, for example, is uh, thanks for uh, bring me out. Uh, bring me out of uh, from the SA. I owe you big times. Okay, thank you. Hello. Today I want to explain about using apologize. There are two kind of apologize. First, formal and informal. Formal apologize. You can say this when you are in formal situation, like presentation, meeting, interview, and the other station. You can say, I would like to apologize for. And the formal apologize. You can say this when you're talking to your friend. For example, I'm sorry, or I'm so sorry. Thank you. <laughs>